Dozens arrested and weapons and drugs are recovered. WJC has given rare access to the dramatic raids that netted some of the most wanted suspects in Baltimore. WJC is live. Rick Ritter with more on the major crackdown of a dangerous gang. Rick. Vic, the group is known as the Murderland Mafia Pyru. They have very strong ties to the Bloods. They're being pinned with everything from dealing drugs to murder. And today, 17 suspected members of the gang were put behind bars. It started at 6 a.m. Just minutes later, this video taken by the ATF shows agents taking down suspected members from one of Maryland's most powerful drug gangs. Police for the warrant, open the door! Police the warrant! Now, off the streets of Baltimore. I can't think of a, of a more impactful gang to work on than this one. They're known as the Murderland Mafia Pyro. MMP is a violent subset of the Bloods gang. 17 alleged members were arrested and indicted on Tuesday. And WJZ was given rare access every step of the way. The most significant arrest, Dante Bally, known as the Don, the Almighty, aka the ringleader. Most of the violence in Baltimore City is fueled by drug organizations such as the one uh, that we are indicting today. Investigators say this gas station along Windsor Mill Road was one of the gang's primary drug shops. Because of how close it is to I-70, they said it made it easy to sell drugs across the state. Just one business the gang took over. They would literally go in and shut down people's businesses to traffic their narcotics. The ATF says besides raking in more than a hundred grand a week in some spots dealing heroin, cocaine and marijuana, MMP is linked to gun violence throughout the city. How deadly of an impact has this gang had on the streets of Baltimore? Well, like I said, you're talking at least 25 incidents of violent crime, including a dozen homicides. This uh, drug organization has touched in a negative way, in a harmful and hurtful way, all of these communities. A crucial string of arrests by the ATF on streets that are flooded with guns and drugs. A total of 24 suspected members were indicted. We're told seven of them are still on the run tonight. The charges range from racketeering to dealing narcotics. Reporting live tonight, I'm Rick Ritter. WJZ Eyewitness News. Rick, thank you. Each of the 24 defendants is facing a maximum sentence of life in prison.